figure it out. These Monkey guys, balls, Kevin. These guys are ridiculous. Um, I can't handle it. Uh, so Panda Bear v Panda Bear me versus Honey Bear. Who's the best bear? Will they win? Well, Who's rather G monkey rating? balls. What? I don't uh, know what's going on here. Gosh, these kids. Eventually, they'll calm down. Eventually. No, they won't. Yeah, they probably if won't. If they run out of energy, Kevin, is that the route that you're going at this point? Hopefully. It's like trying to get like babies to fall asleep or something, right? Or like toddlers. Yeah, after um, you give them an espresso. Yeah. So. Or. Well, yeah. Anyway. A um, little bit of whiskey. Oh, God. A whiskey yes, here. I oh. actually, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Actually, one hundred percent. If I ever have kids, every single bottle of formula is gonna have a small amount of depressant and anti-cry formula. Uh, okay, so this and <laughs> a uh, a quick a quick uh, mention about this match is this match is actually the the match between Game Time and Sacrilege was um, the winner of that one actually. Izar is into the top four. They're in the winner's semifinals, so game time is already in the winner's semifinals. This is the other round three winner's match. Uh, the winner of this one will be into the semifinals, so they are moving on to tomorrow. So the winner of this this uh, this set gets to be done for today and happily in the top four. Um, so it's kind of an... I mean, every match is important, but this one is into a the money. particular one. Yep. So, God. You know what we haven't done, though, guys? Introduce people. That's what Got I'm talking about. All right, take it away, Nailed DJ it. Spectre. <clears throat> All right, on the right-hand side of the map. I did say that correctly. Yes, I did. It's our purple Zerg, and it's my favorite phrase in all of my years. It's monkey balls. Also known as honey bear. Yep. It's been away from hey, the game for a while. Spawning at 10 o'clock. The blue Zerg. Panda bear me. Yeah, it's more like a knife. The most adorable of the phrases. That have gone well. What was the alpaca one? <laughs> alpaca, alpaca rampage. <laughs> alpaca rampage. That was a good one. <laughs> so uh, both players talking about their their time spent in CS:GO, I believe. Um, which means it's a waste of time. Which means they're basically <laughs> saying they wasted their lives because CS:GO is not StarCraft Two, and therefore it's not really worth dedicating any cycles of breathing or anything to, right? I suppose. I mean. I know uh, Honey Bear, he, in like early 2015 or so, I think he was like, you know what, done with Heart of the Storm for a while. So he didn't, I mean, he, he in 2014, he won every single uh, Midwest Cup, uh, the first the first three of them, he, uh, he won all of them. So he's the undefeated champion so far. I mean, is he going to be able to, but he hasn't he hasn't been in the game for a while. He's come back for Legacy of the Lord. That was an enormous Baneling hit. That's... Yes, that was. And he also <laughs> killed the other queen, too, while you were talking about the history and everything. And now it's four yeah. drones and a queen versus four lings that apparently just can't ever friggin' die. Yeah, this is uh, suddenly an insane game uh, out of out of, out of of Honey Bear. I keep wanting to say monkey balls, and I'm like, I should just Say monkey not, balls. Just uh... do it. Just do it. <laughs> balls day monkey. So uh, he's really taking a, a strong lead here. I mean, if Panda Bear Me is able to... You know hold off just enough i think he can do you know he he has the potential to come back yet it's not like game ending damage yet but it's pretty darn close they're One, on even economies basically because i mean there was 14 drones killed in that ridiculousness earlier so i mean it's, it's not yeah. exactly a positive situation for yeah no Vandermeer. no but he i mean he's not out of it yet though he does have that extra base however pretty i mean not great baneling uh trades out of out of panda bear me he's losing a lot of zerglings per bane lane um from from honey honey bear and it might be just just barely too too much you know the continued yeah. rally and that's that overwhelming out was like yes that monkey balls on the screen monkey there balls putting the numbers up hey by the way uh, you guys will be happy to know uh, unlike the last midwest cup where every time anyone ended a match my my game client would crash burn and cause sadness and wallowing and mostly just annoy everyone involved i've now fixed that by buying a wireless card that's actually from this half of the decade nice so that turned out with this problem i spent three months troubleshooting everything upgrading my internet service thinking battlenet was a piece of crap raging about that battlenet was a piece of crap basically trying to convince everyone that battlenet was a piece of crap and then i just bought a proper wireless card okay so the first match was bridgehead and that was actually picked by Panda bear me. So then, looks like Honey Bear has picked. Wait, he said he wanted terminal. 
We're not doing. Oh yeah, dash and terminal. Haha, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> so. Uh, All right, so you need a timeout, buddy. I do. I need. To, I need to go to my corner. So, since uh, Panda Bear me chose first map on Bridgehead, um, Honey Bear he gets to pick dash and terminal as the second map, and I guess our final one. Uh, our final one would be Terraform if we get there. So. Yeah, there are so many. I'm going to put this out there. There are so many Terran awful maps in the Legacy oh, of the Void. Yeah. Like, I was telling you last night, uh, two of the maps actually prevent uh, Reaper Harass because they have no way to jump in uh, um, to get into the base other than the main ramp that leads to the natural. There are, like, like what is it, Laralac? Something Laralac, and then the other one is um, Ceres, Ceres Crest or something. But those two maps, because the walls surrounding the main base double height you can't jump up into them with reapers yeah um. so now all you have to do is is wall off against Terran because that's apparently now a thing these guys are ridiculous their chat spam just doesn't stop ever I don't understand <clears throat> all right um. well, we all we all know that monkey balls uh, slash honey bear is a very uh, what's the phrase um loquacious individual yes quite he makes me he puts me to shame actually. yeah he yeah although in person he's not as not as rambunctious he's a uh, he's quite the talker online though yeah i do believe he does fewer drugs in person <laughs> i'm <Yeah>. kidding <laughs> so uh yeah i mean i i thought so coming into this and and it was it was when you were playing your your matches, DJ. But I was mm -hmm. talking about who I was thinking, you know, who's who's looking really strong, right, for this mm -hmm. tournament. And I was honestly kind of I was favoring Panda Bear me just because I think he's, I mean, Monkey Balls, aka Honey Bear, aka whatever, um, <laughs> <laughs> has. Uh, I mean, he. I don't think he's been playing as much, but oh, well, I mean, I know he hasn't been playing much. Although you know, just coming back for Legacy of the Void, mm -hmm. I wasn't really sure, you know. Could he just pick it back up and and be back into his his rhythm of of dominance? And so far, I mean, I want to look at his run. He I don't, hasn't been two O's all the time yet. So, you know, I don't know. Um, regardless, my predictions may have been wrong, but uh, we will see. With the the conclusion of this set, we're in game two of three. Uh, up in the top left, we have Panda Bear Me, Kenny. Can he uh, maybe finish this one out better than, than the previous? We'll see. Sam, take it away. I am spawning at the 3 o'clock position. We have the purple Zerg. More of a, maybe a lavender? Nah, it's purple. We're just going to call it purple. It's a plum. It's some color. It's monkey balls. Yep. This guy's... I don't even know what the, I honestly haven't even been paying attention to their chat at all. I'm not such a PM, Kevin. I don't even I, I can chat with you for like the first twenty seconds of a game. Yeah. And then I have to be like, sorry. Time to time to focus. No, these kids I I Well here, I'll I get you know. caught up. Basically they're talking about H D Starcraft, Kappa oh, okay. H D and then they said that they saw him at IPL and then like it's been five hundred million years since then and then five years ago and now they're just typing numbers and then I, penis i don't know <laughs> so nothing nothing of nothing of value was, was missed no. so much so it looks like uh monkey balls going for pretty much the same opener it's this ling bane ling i mean it's pretty all in it's a very committed attack panda bear me i didn't quite see as i should have paid it's really hard if you if you don't pay attention for the first 30 seconds you miss the <laughs> the opener not really because Zerg, by the time you hit to what is it in legacy of the void now it's the two minute and 30 second mark they're effectively the same build uh well yeah if you if they both go standard but but i just uh, i think I, monkey balls just wants the out like i mean you look at him and here it comes he's got six lings crossing the map i mean he's gonna do the same thing he did before mainly because panda bear isn't gonna be expecting the guy to cheese twice effect basically uh, I mean, he's kind of anticipating it. He's playing much more safely now. He's, you know, he's gotten the spine crawler up. This is actually looking a lot like a uh, kind of game time versus sacrilege, where game one is, you know, that unexpected cheese out of nowhere, can't handle the pressure. Um, even though Monkey Balls is Ling Bane Ling, I think it's a little bit more committed, but I think it's also a little bit more powerful than game times. Uh, the Bane Lings certainly come out a lot faster. 
Ooh, the speed finishes actually uh, from Monkey Balls right then and there. Uh, and that's going to hurt because Panda Bear Me's speed has just started recently. So he's going to be at a severe disadvantage here to be able to defend against these Lings. Yeah, a lot of a lot of outmaneuvering that uh, that Monkey Balls is going to be able to do. Panda Bear Me, it might be a little bit of a desperation Kappa. I'm not entirely sure. That's a Kappa? <laughs> K Ka Kappa. <laughs> yeah, the spine crawlers are huge, right? That is, yeah. That is, Especially that is. with the, the Bane Ling count that we're at. He's not. Uh, I don't like that he's he not. He can get good targets, yeah. Yeah, he's not focus firing the Bane Lings, though, with the, the spine crawler. A little bit of missed opportunity there, but. What is going to happen? Uh, a bigger Bane Ling bust, I think. <laughs> when two Bane Lings don't work, make several more. However, Monkey Balls has expanded behind this. He might, you know, he might be understanding, okay, I can't, you know. He knows when he, he can't quite quite taste the blood of his victims, and so he decides... The, the queen count here for Panda Bear is pretty great, isn't it? Having three queens out? Yeah, it's going to help a whole lot in the defense. I mean, he gets that wall, he gets, you know, extra... Extra, you know, basically just extra tanking power against Banelings and that sort of thing. Um, and he's able to hold off. Bring a few nice more Banelings are being made, but, but now he's getting... But Panda Bear now is getting the point where he's starting to have some of his defenses up. Uh, he does pull his queens away, uh, but he's making his own Baneling nest at the same time. So if he can hold off a little bit longer, I think he'll be able to permanently stabilize and be able to potentially put some counter aggression on Monkey Balls here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think Monkey Balls, I mean, I think he, he understands it. He's just keeping a, a couple Banelings out all the time to continue pressure on his opponent. He doesn't want panda bear me to be able to you know just breathe easily he you know mm -hmm. he wants to keep him a little scared a little bit nervous and leave that opportunity for mistakes open um but now that speed is finished for uh panda bear me as well and uh he's up on the ling count he's able to kind of push him away a little bit and apparently yeah, they're talking in code sorry <laughs> what are you gonna say sam oh i was just gonna say uh even though he wasn't you know running into the main or anything like that he did pretty effectively delay the, the saturation of that natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, just 20 seconds ago, Panda Bear Me started mining off of his natural. Yep. Yeah, and in the meantime, I mean, he's got a nearly saturated, a Monkey Ball's got a nearly saturated, um, you know, natural of his own, which is going to put him behind. I mean, perhaps Panda Bear Me can come with a, with a, with a rapid uh, third right now, like if you were to suddenly expand, he might be able to get ahead, but then he's going to go ahead and risk not having enough defenses should another Ling Bling run by occur. Yeah, and it looks like he sees the, I mean, he saw the roach, uh, Panda Bear Me saw the roach horn out of monkey balls, so he knows, okay, gonna have roaches coming at me, but Panda Bear Me's lair is actually finishing up, so he might be going for a spire counterplay instead, um, which could be extremely effective, especially since, I mean, I don't think it's, yeah, that lair has not been scouted out at all. Um, however, seeing, uh, eh, he hasn't even seen the extra gases in the natural, um, monkey balls has not. So he might be a little unaware of the uh, the spire attack that's eventually coming. However, with early roaches, sometimes, you know, Panda Bear Me might not even be able to get to those mutas that he needs. He has to hold off against this really heavy mm -hmm. and difficult to hold roach ling attack um, with just a lot of spine crawlers. Very good choice. We'll see. Yeah, he should really pull this front one back just so that it doesn't kind of get sniped. If he pulls it back, it might be able to kind of join forces with its friends that are spawning. Um, you know, the time for that now has passed, so that won't happen. He does go ahead and release a couple Banelings out there just to go ahead and act as a distraction to kind of stall for time. Not a bad idea, uh, but um, the Roaches are now pushing in. Banelings are, are coming forward, but I just think there's actually too many Banelings. Oh, there's blood and guts flying everywhere there. Holy cow, lots of explosions. Uh, the, the Roaches are actually picking up the Spine Crawlers. The Spine Crawlers are basically getting one or two hits. Uh, in a time before they evaporate, and that kind of is it for Panda Bear, and he taps out. Yep, and uh, 